it is a Muslim, but we Northerners will not vote for him because Nigeria is not a legal state. Usman, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll post hot juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. Bola Metinubu, the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, is a Muslim, according to Professor Usman Yusuf, as an executive secretary of the National Health Insurance Scheme, NH NHIS. But we, the people of the North, will not vote for him since Nigeria is not a legal state. Bola Tunumbu said he done nothing in legal state besides work on the corpse and collect taxes. He declared, we do not want Tenumbu to rule Nigeria the way he managed legal state back then. He said the All Progressives Congress presidential candidate is a Muslim man. He asserted that Northerners will not support him in the 2023 election because they do not want him to govern Nigeria in the same manner as it governs legal state. What is your thought on this article? Kindly share your take on this issue. <laughs> okay. So let me understand something. BAT is a Muslim, but we Northerners will not vote for him because Nigeria is not a legal state. And I want to presume that this man speaking is a Muslim. When I tell when I say it do me like say they will go all around Tenumbu Street. <laughs> I have to speak this in our vernacular. You know? I was saying this thing like man. It's looking like this. Then go run. These people are predictable. They practice no matter how close they are to you. Just look at what happened in the PDP primaries. Tambo was a close ally. Was a close ally to Winke. But what happened? He stepped down for his brother. These people are predictable. Why Southerners no go just learn? They will not support you. Ah. They play what I call very predictable politics every time. And Southerners always think, oh, because I've supported them, oh, because I've done this for them, oh, because I've done that for them. Well, I don't, I'm not, I'm not so sure, but sincerely deep down, it is all a ploy to support their own. That is what this is all about to me. And I'm telling you. You see, Yakubu, you know, Dogara, all the whole, you know, it's a Muslim, it's a Muslim, the whole ploy, you know, this and that and that and this, Omar. I will not even be surprised. Even the Bachelor World that joined the Labour Party recently, <laughs> I'm not going to be surprised if anything happened. I'm telling you, these people, they're very predictable. What I do not understand is why Southerners do not. Just see that these people, they will just use you, get with it at once, and off they go. <laughs> okay. Yes, I agree with you, so because Lagos is as it is. Today, it's hell. Today, I will have taken over everyone. Hmm. Okay. Who is Professor Man? He's not even known in his home state of Castina. Talk less of speaking for Northerners. Okay. The Northerners have decided to vote 100% for Tenobo because he has paid his due. For one of the respected Northerner, okay? Then what happens to the other Northerner? <laughs> oh my God. Like I said before, all I see is a ploy. You're creating, you know, a kind of pattern. So that at the end of the day, it's going to be favorable. It's going to be favorable to Atiko. That is all I can see here. And like I said before, the Northerners are predictable. These people, they have been playing this type of politics. The only problem is you think, say, because you don't help them. I've, ah, I've done this thing for them. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, they will not do this to me. Don't be too sure. Hmm. All right, all the people supporting Tenumbo are your brand. They're supporting them because you promised them a town hall that is different from... Oh, my goodness. Okay. I don't think it is only... Your brothers that are supporting Tunumbu. No. Tunumbu has a lot of supporters from all over. All over. Tunumbu, have pe Tunumbu has people everywhere. He is this kind of person that networks a lot. So he comes into this place every... Permit me to say, I believe Tunumbu 
in all the six geopolitical zones, if you ask me, he has somebody in all the six geo. As in, if he wants to do something now and he needs assistance, he has somebody in the six geopolitical zone. Okay. Even currently in Lagos State, in the night there are no lights on the road and yet the state government is collecting taxes and money for diesel allocation. But yet, they cannot put lights on the main road, federal roads for that matter. Killings, one chance commercial drivers everywhere have been collecting 2,000 every night from chillers that are causing serious heavy traffic even on broad daylight. I were extorting commercial drivers and constituting nuisance everywhere because Tenable gave them a go ahead. Tenable is an abomination, a shame, and a disgrace to a Lagos state. Okay, um, they're going to come up defending him. Okay, hear, hear, hear this. <laughs> Listen to this. To live in Lagos state is not by force. Go back to your state that has street lights. Coming from Oshodi to Aja, you can drive a vehicle without headlights. Likewise, Maryland to Abulegba, Yonopaja to Ikotu, and the rest. I then under the side of Lagos base, maybe the Ifo Lagos or Songo. Okay, Songo Lagos. Hmm. Okay, well, um, the thing is, all this accusation is not going to take us anywhere. As in all this, uh, if you know we stay here, go here now. I want us to look at this problem as a very common problem. Hmm? Nigeria is our country. Nigeria does not belong to the Southwesterners alone. If you keep, if you keep, you know, wanting to attack this from this angle. It does not belong to the Southwesterners alone. It does not belong to the Southeasterners alone. Nigeria belongs to all of us. And until we start looking at Nigeria as a venture that must not die on our hands, we are keep going to keep giving up excuses upon excuses. Nigeria is like a business whom they have passed down to us. And it must not die on our hands. I mean on our hands. It is going to be a thing of shame and disgrace. Let us look at it like that. So if you're looking for someone who will come in and manage this business very well, I guess we would look for somebody who is, you know, agile, young. That's why you see all those companies. If you go there, they'll tell you they're looking for somebody with family experience that is not more than 30 years of age, that is more than, you know, 28 years of age, something like that. So Nigeria, the, the choice is ours. Hmm? So nothing else. Like I, I was saying before, huh? I'm not going to be surprised if at the end of the day they turn against Sunubu and they support Atiko. This has been the predictable pattern and I don't think they're going to change. But nevertheless, let's see how it all plays out. Okay, on those notes, you have come to the end of the news. We so say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of the day.